holy fucking shit. This is the third lifer that's called me. Uh, well, I'll yeah. get some good news for you. Okay. Uh, we got a yell in here, by the way. All right. I might be starting uh, my job right. at DOC pretty soon, so I can, you know, life was really busy with us. Oh, shit. But All right. Yeah, yeah. So that should be pretty exciting. Nine inch Nino. For for, <laughs> just uh, having me and my business partners, Aliyah, okay. Salim, regarding mm. the Hookah Lounge. I know okay. there's no, you know, actual form of business proposal and things like that, but um, I'm, I'm glad you remember the location. I wasn't sure if you knew about that or not. So I do. I just wanted, yeah. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to them so we can get the ball storm. But as far as, all right, uh, you know, what is it we need to kind of open a shop like that? You think? What, what, what from your perspective, what is it that you think that we need besides money? Um... I mean, I have a couple requirements. I have my business proposals from okay. many, many years ago. They are all secure, all good. Probably not the same. I don't know how it is now to make a proposal, but I have a couple ads. On the tablet, yeah. I see. But with me, the business license, first and foremost. Yeah. A business account, potentially, to try to get our finances in order, because the account is working and we can pay taxes to you as a state. Okay, all right. I'd like to potentially oh, charge shit. for the services that we are providing. I would All assume right. that it's under business license. And we would like to get the building from the state at a price where we can uh, discuss and see if we can work out a deal for it. I see. So, um, all right. So, a uh, couple things I want to let you guys know. Uh, unfortunately, uh, due to the incompetence of the uh, previous mayor, there has, and alongside Siobhan, his, mm. uh, you know, his, um, whatever you want to call it, um, there was pretty much zero <sighs> legislation written. Is that him? In the past two weeks, my cabinet has wrote 10 pieces of legislation have you seen the new website? I hear about it in the Losantos.me. You should check it out. Mm. We have placed the new chief of police that replaces the absolutely useless ones that existed before. We have balanced a budget. Previously, every dime that came into the state and out of the state was coming out of our unlimited account, and we managed to find a way to resolve that. We have multiple actual functioning valuing businesses coming into place. But unfortunately, due to the incompetence, instead of putting the legislation together six months ago, people have been buying whatever properties, commercial and otherwise, without any checks. Which means, of the 50-plus buildings that have been purchased... We don't know who owns them. There is no business attached to it. And if you open up your real estate app, there's nothing. Holy fuck. Yeah. So where so, does it go from here? Well, after um, I got done fucking myself after my first day in office, um, turns out there was a massive fucking rod right here left at the chair. I got up and I said, you know what? We got to make a change. And that's why we have to work uh, backwards, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And what that means is I cannot take away the farms. I cannot take away all the businesses people have been running under the table for the last six months. I cannot start to force people to stop paying taxes because there's going to be a world war. That makes sense. I can't take those properties away. I okay. can't take those buildings away. It would be insane. However, yeah. however, okay. um, I would recommend, at least for the time being, keep your eye out on real estate. We have no ability to um, request new buildings to be made, which is pretty much what you're asking. However, we are on a path to solve that. My recommendation is start to get something up and going. I know, uh, um, uh, play, what, PlayStation, uh, what, um, Hello. 
Uh, Alia, right? Yeah, uh, Alia. 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 Mm-hmm. Similar to how she's running that uh, pizza shop, I think you guys should start to have some form of um, of this hookah thing going in public or something so that you can show that your business is already operating so it can sit at the top of the rack. And hopefully in the next week or two, we'll have some progress that may help you get to where you were trying to get to. So I don't know if that helps or am I talking very generically? No, no, I get what you're saying, but yeah. um, how can we get started now with no property or location to, like, well, you know, promote something like that? Like a food store, I believe. Is what is yeah, the like things. a food store. Because the thing is, we can't just, like, knock the doors open, right? Right, mm. but the but the, but the the food stall is is going to take some time, right? No, because mm-hmm. uh, yeah. those are already preserved or reserved. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't solve that for you. No, I get that, I right? get that, but I'm saying, like, you know... I, I don't want to feel like we're just waiting and waiting, not doing nothing. If that makes any sense, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's for you to figure out. I mean, um, look, I I don't know what to tell you. I can't, you know, um, you guys are asking for very special construction requests. No, no, no. We're not asking for that. You you are because that building doesn't exist. Right. That built, I'm saying that's (laughs) the future, right? But I'm saying Mm. right now, if we want to get started, right? We can't even okay. get a property if we wanted to. Like, if True. I want to start in my, my own house, yep. go into my own ha- home into, like, a hookah lounge, and yep. then one day move that onto the hookah lounge. The oh, one I have an idea. Do, you own, do any of you guys own a property? Uh, not myself, no. Okay. No. Do you know someone with a property? I would buy someone's property. That's what I would do. And what does it mean to be zoned as business, commercial, or we could use a home? Technically, there's no laws against it. You just got to be prepared if uh, that ends up being the case. So. And, uh, yeah, yeah, if my apartment was slightly bigger, I would turn that bitch into a There you go! 100%. Start in the apartment. I guess we could try, but it's so small. That's the problem. Like, I, I, I would definitely do it okay. in the apartment, but. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain something to you. All right. I started a 60-man business in Los Santos about seven months ago. And we were open 24-7 nearly. We did not have a a place for cosmetics. We did not have anything. We had to build it up with our own hands, with the little bit that we had. Mm. Okay. No, no, I mean, like and I, I think that's I'm, exactly what you have to do. You have to look to see what is available to you, and you start to build. Be it an apartment. Yeah. Maybe you yeah. can find somebody that you could rent their property, right? No, for but, sure. I think you definitely give me that idea. Uh, either rent the property, buy one, or the apartments. Sab, you're my brother, and I want you to understand something. There are no handouts at this table, and whether you realize it or not, you're asking for one. I'm not asking for a handout. I, th- I think you misunderstood what means them are trying to say. Mm. The hookah lounge is definitely in the future, right? Yeah. That's not the, the one in downtown Los Angeles, <laughs> right? Um, right now, the, the, the challenge we're looking at is lo- location, uh, you know, and mm. real estate. That's the challenge we're looking at. Because we had, a, like, a property available. We can muster all our cash together, turn that into the hookah lounge, start there, build the business, build the I brand. I like this. And, Absolutely. And I want to see this lounge. I want to see this happen. But the fact of the matter is, I want you to take, understand from my perspective, right? Um, is that I have people coming to my door every day and saying, I want to do this. What I'm saying is, I want to see what you can do right now. And as the Makes facilities sense, yeah. open up, those that bubble to the top with the first that will be uh, serviced. That is fair. Mm. All right. Hey, you can close the warehouse, surely. Um, there's zero business properties, unfortunately. Everything been purchased, huh? Yeah. The cheapest thing that is currently on the open market is it's like one mil fifty k, right? Uh, it's yes, one million dollars. Used to, that used to be a casino owned by Marty Banks, believe it or not. 404. That's right. Run that place. 
Yeah. Wait, why don't you ask Marty to rent it out temporarily? Mm. Yeah, we could talk to him. I mean, I while it's up on the market, you could. I mean, you pay him twenty, like twenty thousand dollars a week. That's cheaper than buying it outright. I have good rapport with Mister Martin. Yeah. I, speak to him. I mean, hell, but maybe you could do like a, uh, you know, like a rev share. You know, you give him thirty percent for rent. I think so. Yeah, I think so. But for my question now, is mm. a business proposal. Yes. Is that need to happen prior to no, no. opening and moving? No? As of right now, there are no regulations uh, regarding businesses. Uh, those are things that may get baked in as time goes on. But like I said, literally the past administration did absolutely nothing. And uh, so we're currently in the process of building things up very slowly. Um, All right. Money so, missing out of the government pockets that way, huh? Like yeah. These businesses on the table not paying taxes. Well, I mean, we can't. I mean, uh, how do you, uh, uh, like I said, the way that it should have been done is it should have been functional. It should have been illegal to buy a commercial building without a business license. Mm. But because they didn't do that and people just purchased it, you can't really go back and say, okay, everyone in the city, we need the property back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. that's kind of where we are right now. Um, now, I hope what I'm saying right now lights a fire under all y'all's asses because I could sit here and like say, hey, yeah, sure, that's going to work, but I'm going to give it, I'm going to shoot straight, right? Uh, right now, the four of you are pretty much identical to probably like hundreds of other people in the city, right? You have an idea, but you don't have anything to show for it yet. And I'm assuming you don't have the capital to even get a property, even if one was available. So, yeah, I mean, we're trying to gauge where we are right now. That's all. It's, it's, it's going to be tough. You're probably estimated $2 million for commercial property. Okay. I yeah. mean, like I said, as long as we know the ceiling's out, we can aim for mm -hmm. it. Absolutely. Now, if there's anything that you need from me, I can certainly help. But I do think starting an apartment or renting something out is not a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think uh, that's definitely the play for the time being yeah. to expand to something bigger. So for sure, we'll let you know. We'll keep you up there, there, there is another sure. issue. Mm -hmm. Why are people going to come to your hookah bar? It is going because to be. we're going to kidnap them. I mean, uh, bring them there. Huh? I do want you to consider that, right? Now, I'm going to be rather frank with you. Uh, the city is not what it used to be mm -hmm. seven months ago. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we'll have to come up with reasons. I why deal with come people down. on Twitter on the daily that is still crying about doing tow. Ten thousand dollars an hour these fucking pricks were making. And the what moment I gave ten thousand dollars being fucking useless. And the moment that pay was reduced in exchange the ability to start a tow company that would make them more, they kept on crying. They cry every day. They're like, oh, no, I want to drive the fuck around, moving a bunch of useless local cars that aren't even in the right place. And the moment I say, you know, come and uh, we can get you started, even give you subsidies, they say, no, 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 no. We just want just to drive around. I want you to keep in mind that as much as I would love to see people come into your hookah bar to help it flourish, unless you got a carrot for them, it's going to be a hard sell. So you need to think about what your hook is. If you don't have that hook, it's going to be real tough. Yeah, I mean, we have a yeah. massive hurdle to get over where yeah. people are not going to come in unless there's something that doesn't benefit them, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Mr. Chavez, I appreciate you speaking to us. Anytime. Right? Anytime. This is what we need to hear. What if your hookahs have hookahs? Like. Mm. Maybe I not understand because fucking <laughs> language is uh, English. Somebody translate it. What if your hookahs have hookahs? 
Wait, the, he's not hooker, right? The, maybe I miss here. You know, he's not hooker, please. What if your shisha comes with charmutas? Ah. <laughs> There's plenty of charmutas out there. It won't be much of a problem mm. to find. Mm. Really, that, sir? <laughs> Something to consider. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nino. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. All Thank right. You so much. All right. Y'all take care. <laughs> well, All right. Okay, well, huh? We are not watching my bench. I'm going to break it right now. Get out of your head. Thank you. What's going to happen? <laughs> Why not? I'm not why, 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 how come you don't like Marty? <laughs> I don't trust him. <laughs> Yo, Hector, thank you for the three months, man. <laughs> I mean, like, 